What's up guys? My name is Glock and welcome to another episode of Demonetized Simulator. So here we go boys. Um, during the last time we were going for Mrs. Bithet. No, sorry. Miss Bithet. And uh, we're now down to her second. No, we're done with her second session. Now we're gonna go for her third one. So here we go. We're gonna go to school and talk to her again and see what she wants from us. Bonjour, Jean. Oh, bonjour, Miss Bisset. Comment allez-vous? Oh, um, I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. You're learning the French so quickly. Yeah, I think your tutoring is really helping. <laughs> ah, we must continue with the lessons then, yes? I'd love to. I am thinking you will enjoy this next assignment. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oui, beaucoup. Are you familiar with French romance? N -n no, not really. Actually, you do your shit. On après alors, the French make the best lovers in all the world. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> oui, John, it is known. So, to give you insights into this, you are to be writing a romantic poem in French. Um... I don't know, ma'am. I've never really written anything like that before. I mean, uh, you did do your homework before, right? It's as simple as that. I wouldn't even know how to begin. Ridiculous. You are unnatural. I have the faith in you, John. <laughs> oh, okay, Miss Visit. <laughs> Très bien, mon bel homme. I know you will write something that melts the heart. Return to me when it is done. Perhaps you will finally earn the reward you've been seeking, yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Come, excite. I'll be back real soon. Oh, sorry. I'll be back real soon, Miss <laughs> Bisson. <laughs> Au revoir, Jean. Wow. Okay, I guess I should head to the library and see what I can find about French poetry and romance. Wow, really? You can learn how to love someone in the freaking library? Okay, so let's see what the librarian wants to do for us. I mean, like, what we can do for the library. Because, mm -hmm. you know, she always asks for something in return. Hi, how can I help you? I'm looking for a book. A show thing. Do you know what the book's name is? French poetry. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. Actually, some girls were reading something like that yesterday. I, you know, I'm guessing it's gonna be, it's uh, uh, it's gonna be Judith. Yeah, that's that's her name, right? The the, the chubby girl. Yeah, she, we we always whenever we need something, it's always with her. Okay, but she did say girl, so maybe just maybe it's Mia. I don't know. Really? Did they check it out? Uh, no. Do you know where it is? Hmm. No, but maybe they'll be here again this afternoon. You could ask one of them where they put it. Uh, thanks. So could it be someone we know? Well, we'll see in the afternoon. Here we go. Boom. Afternoon. Let's see. Now to find something to on French romance. This isn't going to be easy. Is that- Oh, hey, I was right. It's Mia. You know, she's the only other girl I know who likes to read, so. Let's see. I wonder what she's doing here. Should go say it hi. All right, Mia. Hey, Mia, what's he really up to? Oh, hello, John. I was just about to study for the upcoming chemistry test. Oh, I thought your mom didn't allow you to do anything after school. She usually doesn't, but I told her that Miss Okita might write me a college recommendation if I impressed her by doing well on our next test. Will she really do that? Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to try, right? And I actually get to hang out with Judas outside of my house, too. Oh, they're hanging out now. That's cool. Yeah, I suppose not. So, um, what are you doing here? Miss Bissett gave me an assignment. I thought maybe I could get some inspiration here. Oh, yeah? What's the assignment? Well, it's kind of embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Really? Well, you have to tell me now. Ah, uh, well, I'm supposed to write a romantic poem in French. Oh, that's not embarrassing. No? No, we all had to do that. Oh, yeah, we do have the same type of classes and curriculum, yes? Well, everyone but Roxy. She never does the homework. I know, I know, I know. 
I didn't know. Of course you know! You, Roxy practically begged for your homework the other day. Jeez. So, um, what was your poem about? Oh, I... You know, this and that. Ah, <laughs> uh, see? It is embarrassing. Yeah, I guess it is a little bit. I don't even know how to begin writing this thing. I should probably look around for a book on French romance. You know, Judith and I found a really informative one. See, I told you! It's either Judith or me. I'm so, so smart. Oh, really? Yeah, it was pretty graphic, though. Graph- Oh. Don't tell me it's a Kama Sutra. <laughs> Knowing this game, I'm, I'm betting it's like a French Kama Sutra book. Alright. Do you remember what it was called? Mm, no, not really. Judith had it last. She was using it in the back room there, I think. Huh, you think she might have it left in there? Hmm, maybe. I guess I'll go take a look then. Thanks for the help, Mia. No problem. Good luck, John. You too. Alright, I'm hoping Judas isn't doing anything... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Back here. Let's see. Oh, there it is. This must be the book. Yep, I was right! <laughs> Alright, it is a Kama Sutra book. Well, it does say a lot about French romance. If that is called French romance, I don't know. Whoa, me was right. This thing is really graphic. Hmm, I wonder what Judith was doing with it back here in the dark room by herself. Probably, you know, learning something to do with you, John. Huh? Anyway, all right, I had better take this home to my computer and get to writing on that poem from Miss Bissett. Okay, really, you're gonna write the poem about French sex. I, well, I guess it won't hurt, right? Let's go. Uh, work. Writing the poem proved to be quite difficult. I seem to be having a hard time <laughs> keeping my focus. But after a several hard hours, hours and few breaks, I finally managed to put something on paper. Yay! All right, finally. Well, you have a flash drive there. I hope this is good enough to impress Miss Bissett. Yay! I just need to print it in the computer lab and hand it in. All right. Okay, let's just sleep, go to sleep, boom. All right, cool. Okay, back to school, going to the computer lab, put this in there, print! There you go, <laughs> still using the same method. Bashing it. All right, now to hand it to my friend. Okay, oh, sorry. Here, Miss Bishop, finished poem. Superb. Oh, comme c'est beau. Yes, this will do nicely. The class is in for a treat. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, well, you ought to be reciting it for the class, yes? Oh, uh, no, hell no, that wasn't part of the contract, Miss Bissett. Mm, wait, no way. Qua? Come now, Jean. Your words are beautiful. It would be wrong not to share such a thing, yes? Absolutely not. I'd be way, I'd be way too embarrassed. Oh, don't be so self-conscious, Jean. Mm-hmm. I know, I will be giving you a partner to read with- Oh, come on. It would, uh, uh. You think that's gonna make it less awkward, hmm, Miss Bissett? Unless it's Mia. This is- This is less embarrassing, yes? Well, not really. Roxy! <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, let's see. Roxy! Wake up! Hmm? Fear Paris, yeah, wake up, I said. What? Come here. <laughs> I bet she really hates Roxy for not doing all the homework. Since you cannot be bothered to write a poem for class, you will be a exciting one with Jean here. Uh, no I won't. Yes, you will. I don't care about this stupid assignment. Quoi? Come on, a sister? You get up there and read or I will be giving you detention until the end of the time. <laughs> what is up with my reading? <laughs> Comprenez-vous? Ah, oh, seriously? Now. Uh, fine. Um, Miss Bizet? Yeah, yes, Jean? I, uh, really don't want to do this. Oh, but it is so beautiful. Do it for me, mon behom. I give you a special reward if you do it. 
<sighs> the things I do for love. All right, I'll do it. Très bien. I am so proud. Non, non, and fun shy. Now let's begin. I really need to look up how to read that. I wasn't excited to recite my poem in front of the class, but Roxy's involvement did actually help. Nobody cared how sappy the poem was, not with Roxy stumbling over every other word. <laughs> By the time we reached the end, Roxy was beyond embarrassed. Her classmates were giggling at her poor pronunciation skills, and she was livid. I don't really recall ever seeing her so angry. <laughs> Très bien. Jean, your French was perfect. Thanks, Miss Bissett. And Roxy. Well, you tried. Ah. Very well, that is it for today, everybody. Remember to be completing your homework, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow, yes? Roxy, I'm, you do not need to apologize to that hoe, John. Shut up. I'm just trying to apologize. I said shut your mouth. I cannot believe she made me read that sappy bullshit in front of the entire class. Oh, and with you of all people. Disgusting. You're lucky I don't kick your ass right here right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Que se passe What is all this yelling? I cannot believe you made me do that. Do you know how embarrassing that was? Bad, don't be such a baby. Jean wrote a beautiful poem. You should be apologizing to him for your clumsy reciting. Apologize to him? You got you out of your damn mind. <laughs> Sister, is it not our fault? It is not our fault. You embarrass yourself with your poor friends. You are the one who refuses to do your studies. Ah, I won't forget this. Good. Remember it as a reason to be taking your studies more seriously. Wow, I've never seen her that mad before. Do not concern yourself with her, John. She'll get over this. Hmm. Now I think it's time we start your tutoring, yes? Oh, yeah, okay! Très bien. Come and sit on me. I mean, sit with me. I mean, yes. <laughs> what? I spent the whole day trying to catch up to my studies until the bell rang. Yeah, here we go, boys! <laughs> your progress with the French is most impressive, Jean. I think you will do very well on the big exam. Well, I hope so. I really need to pass this class. Oh, man, Belham. Do not be so anxious. Um, you know, I seem to recall promising you, promising you a special reward for the sighting today, yes? Uh, yeah. Your poem really was beautiful, you know? The French language was made for poetry, don't you think? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I really like the part you wrote about the kissing. Oh, that part. Did you know the French kiss in a special way? Um, uh, I mean, they do? We, oui, they call it the French kiss and everything. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Have you tried the French kissing before? Uh, no. Oh, je dois apprendre. You, you want to teach me? Oui. Oh wow, nice! Mm-hmm, nice! Alright, there you go, boys! Am I supposed to black bar that? I don't think so. I mean, like, uh, I think that's... Yeah, French kissing is kind of accepted in YouTube, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's that's all you're gonna get, guys, okay? That's all. That's, that's as far as we can go, okay? Très bien, Jean. Yeah, a natural at this, too, it seems. Uh, yeah, thanks. All right. Okay. That's. That's. I hope that's all they're gonna do. Okay. I don't want to have to edit something else unless it escalates into something. We'll see. Hmm. Mon Belham, you are getting me all excited. Oh God. Here we go. <sighs> Perhaps we should be taking this. <clears throat> Miss Bassett. Oh uh, God. Fucking cock blocked by Mrs. Smith. Where are you? You were supposed to be in my office by now. 
I hope you don't intend for me to have to leave my office and drag your scrawny ass to my office. Hurry up! Sacre bleu, what does she want now? Mm. I am sorry, John. It seems we must cut this short once more. It's alright, Miss Bissett, I understand. <laughs> cut this short in one more. <laughs> that bullshit is my geek. Huh? Your mouth is magical. Oh, bush means mouth? Oui. Alright then. I want you to come to my office after class tomorrow. There's one more thing I want your help with before the exam. Oh, well, sure thing. I'll see you tomorrow, miss- I'm sorry, I'll see you tomorrow, Miss Bissett. Au revoir, mon bel homme. Alright, guys. Yeah, that was- That was awesome. Ah. Alright, let's just take a- I'm just gonna save it here, just, just in case. There we go. Okay, let's go to bed. And uh, let's look forward to what's gonna happen after school tomorrow. Um, okay, um, okay. Oh, wait, it's the weekend. Oh, shit. Alright, let's just sleep. Okay, it's after class now. This should work. Okay, Bissett. Miss Bissett's office looks so French. Wow, Jean. I wonder why she's a French teacher. Maybe one day we can go on a field trip with her. Yay, oh, she's not here. What? Okay, maybe you just want- Is that Pepe the Frog? <laughs> okay, and she has a wine cellar as well. That's pretty nice. Cool. Alright. Okay, one more. Boop. Okay, this should do. Alright, okay. Bonjour, Jean. Hello, Miss Bussiat. I like your office. It's very, um, French. Merci beaucoup. So, uh, why did you want to see me in your office? Well, Jean, I am worrying about the upcoming exam. Wait, huh? You, you don't need to worry, Miss Bissett. I've never felt this prepared for a test before. I'm gonna ace it for sure. Oui, Jean, you are by far my best student, and I am very so, I'm so very proud of you. It's uh, Roxy that is worrying me so. Roxy? We oui. assuming she even shows up for the exam, there is no way she will make a passing grade. So what happens if she doesn't take the test? Cecera and If Roxy doesn't show up for the exam, it will bring down the average for all the students. I am afraid Miss Smith will have my head. You mean she'll fire you? We. Oui. Uh, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna find a way to convince Roxy to show up for the test, I promise. Oh, Jean, to a small hero. If you do this for me, I will be giving you the best special reward you can imagine. Yes? Well, yeah. Très bien. Good luck, Jean. Thanks, Miss Bessette. So how do we convince Roxy, though? Hmm. This is gonna be tough. It's one thing convincing Roxy to show up for the exam, but she will also have to pass it somehow. Uh, maybe private lessons with Roxy? I'm gonna teach her some French, eh? I'm sure they'll think of something. Okay, alright. We gotta talk to Roxy, though. Okay. Where could Roxy be? Oh, there she is. Jeez. Hey there, Roxy. Gross. Go away. I'm sorry. I, j I gave her Jenny's voice. Come on, Roxy. I didn't intend for you to recite that speech with me. Ah, uh, don't remind me. You're lucky I didn't have Dex to beat the shit out of you for that. I was completely humiliated. Yeah, well, I didn't want to read it either. Uh, who cares what you want? Uh, listen, I'm, I'm sorry, alright? I wanna make it up to you. Oh, really? How do you think you're gonna do that? Well, we have that French exam coming up, and I thought maybe I could help you study for it. Huh? Why would I want to study for that stupid class? <laughs> oh god, ow, my... <coughs> oh, my throat! <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry guys, sorry. Sorry about that, I'm still sick. So don't you care about your grades? Pfft, no. The only thing I cared about was the cheer squad, but that's all over now. Wait, you're not in the cheer squad anymore? Ugh. What happened? Now that stupid die coach Bridget. She got all pissy the other day, yelling about how I don't listen to her or something. Well, you don't really listen to anyone, Roxy. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. <sighs> but she took my pom-poms and suspended me. 
for how long? Until the state championship? How am I supposed to practice? Was that my pom-poms? Hmm, what if I get them back for you? Pff, yeah, right. I'm serious. That will make up for embarrassing you the other day, wouldn't it? Hmm, I guess. I considered it done. I'll be right back with those pom-poms. Whatever. <laughs> pom-poms are... That's your problem? Can't, why can't you just make new ones? Jeez. Roxy's pom-poms. I bet Coach Bridget has them stashed away in her office somewhere. And I have access to that office. Hey, hey. Wait, this is her office, right? Alright, she's not in here. This is my final chance to remember your pom-poms. Mm -hmm. Where could they be? I don't know, maybe in the locker here? There you go! Key, key that shit. Yeah, boy! Okay. Yeah! Okay, Coach Bridget is here. Yes, yeah! You just head to the track and I'll meet you Leo. I need to change first. Oh crap, she's coming. Uh, I'm so dead, what am I gonna do? I gotta hide somewhere. Hide in the locker like Metal Gear. This is the only place to hide. I just have to hope that she doesn't look in here. Here we go. It was a tight fit, but I managed to get inside the lock and close the door. Just in time, too. Coach Bridget has had me, you know, had almost caught me. Okay. All I could do now is keep quiet and hope she didn't find me. <laughs> there she is. Please don't look in here. And I hope you don't do anything lewd while nobody's looking, Coach Bridget. Man, it sure is cooking. Oh, God, she's going to take off her shit. I'm sweating like a whore in church. Oh, come on. Ugh. I am so dead if she finds me. Wow. <laughs> mm, I hope you're paying attention. Does she know? What? I'd hate for you to miss the gun show. <laughs> oh, damn, girl. Better put those away before they hurt somebody. Alright, that's it? After... <laughs> You just want to show off by- <laughs> She's so vain. I huh, thought I heard something. Must have been my imagination. Okay. Nice. That went well. I think she's gone. Is that what you call fan service, huh? For Coach Bridget? Jeez. What is a cup doing here? Did she confiscate someone's cup? Jeez, dude. Alright. Uh, let's go back to Roxy. Give her pom-poms back and we're good. Hey there, Roxy. Got your pom-poms. No, you don't. Seriously, here you go. Magical bag, see? Ah, oh, you really got him. I told you I would. So do you forgive me for the other day? Yeah, sure. And uh, you'll show up you'll show up for the French exam? <sighs> well hold on now. That wasn't part of the agreement. Uh wait what? Come on, Roxy. Absolutely not. But Miss Bissett can, can get fired if we skip out. Awesome, that's even more reason for me to blow it off. I hate that third world bitch. Wow, you're considering France as a third world country? Jeez. France isn't a third world. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be glad to see her gone. Ugh, there has to be something I can do, right? I don't think so, dweeb. Now scram, gotta start thinking up a new routine for the state championship. Ugh. Wait, that's it? Um, what now? I could help you with your routine. Yeah, right. What do you know about cheering? Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. But Jenny does. Oh, yeah, the, my, my sister. Ex-sister now, okay. She was head cheerleader at her college. Uh, who? A girl that lives at the same house as me. Her squad won, won state a bunch of times in high school. I could get her to help you with your routine. Hmm, are you aren't lying? Nope. Mm-hmm. All right. If you can get her to help, I'll show up for the stoop test. But I'm copying all the answers off you. It's fine by me. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, go ask her already. Jeez. She, you're such a loser. I'm going. Oh, God. This is going to be really hard for me to voice act now. Roxy and Jenny at the same time? I mean, in the same route? Jeez. I'm going to... Mix up their accent somehow. Okay, let's go back to our little sister, a big sister. Okay, should be good. Hey, Jenny, what do you want? I need. Okay, there we go. How much are you paying me? I haven't even told you what it is yet. Hmm, <laughs> good point. I should hear all the details before I set the price. <sighs> There's this girl at school who needs help with her cheerleading routine. Is this some girl you're trying to bang? 
Wait, what? No! Why not? Is she ugly? No, she's gorgeous. No, she's a total bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, but hmm, I like her red already. Ugh. So you'll help her with her routine? $500. What? Are you nuts? That's surprise. Pay up or get out. Couldn't you just help me out? <laughs> Guy one, John. $500. <sighs> Fine. Come back when you've got the money. Jeez, five hundred dollars. That's like five thousand pesos. Jeez, it's even more than what I earn in YouTube. <laughs> okay, uh, Roxy, there you go. I brought the money. Pay. There you go. Yay! Perfect. Her name is Roxy. Sorry, her name is Roxy. Whatever. Okay, so what happens now? I got her the money. So, I guess we have to talk to Roxy then. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, Roxy. Jenny said to stop by tomorrow after school and she'll help you with your routine. Your house? Ah, uh, this better be worth it. Oh, uh, see, I told you guys, I, I got the actions mixed up already. Eww. It will be. Just remember, you promised to show up for the test. Yeah, yeah. If this Jenny actually helps, I will. Now get out of here before somebody sees me talking to you. Okay, fine. Okay, let's go. Um, what was that again? After school, right? So, this one. Sweetie, somebody's at the door. Can you get it? Sure thing, Debbie. Hey, Roxy. You have a session with Jenny? Duh. What do you think? I'm here to see you or something? Uh, no. Why are you blushing, John? Jeez. Good, because there is no fucking way. <clears throat> is that that girl you wanted me to help? You know, the one you're trying to ban. <laughs> Jen, what are you doing? Uh, excuse me? N no! Roxy, I swear I never said as if you ever hit a shot. Not even in your dreams, twerp. Uh, uh, too bad, little pervert. I guess you're stuck with your head in a bottle of lotion. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for the lotion. <laughs> oh, I like you, Roxy, was it? Yeah, and your Jenny. That's right. See, I'm mixing their accent. You know what? I'm just gonna give them the same accent when they're together, okay? Come on, Roxy. We can ditch the dweeb and get started in my room. Gladly. See ya, dweeb. Ugh. I have a bad feeling about this. There and there they are. They actually look alike. Like one is a brunette and one is a blonde. Both are bitches. Okay. <laughs> Those two had formed a connection almost instantly. I guess Jen and Roxy did have a lot in common. Yep, yep, yep. In, a, in more ways than one. They were both captains of the cheer squad. Popular, beautiful, and both of them had mastered the art of being a bitch. Exactly, Jean! I really hope I don't end up regretting this. Uh, who was that? Just a girl from my school. Jenny agreed to help her with some cheerleading stuff. Jenny is helping somebody? That's a new one. Yeah, because I paid her. Oh. Well, sweetie, you really shouldn't let Jenny take advantage of you like that. Yeah, I know. Ugh. It's, well, something else on your mind? I've just never seen Jenny hit it off with someone like that. Kind of freaks me out, to be honest. Well, I think it's a good thing she's made a new friend. I worry about her sitting up upstairs all by herself all day. Well, that's not really what she does. You know, I mean, sitting up all, you know doing nothing all day. She, she has an online job, you know what I mean, guys? I'm sure she gets slowly... N no, no, Debbie, nope, not at all. I doubt it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, she was laughing, Jenny is. Maybe she I could go check on them. Maybe. Just be careful, sweetie. Alright, I bet she's doing something stupid right now, or something lewd. Alright, here we go. Oh, look! Jesus Christ, look at that. Thanks again for letting me borrow your old uniform. Not a problem. It doesn't fit me anyways. Shit, this college uniform barely fits. Uh, yeah. It looks like your tits are gonna spill out like any second. <laughs> That's why I'm saying though. The judges totally give extra points for sex appeal. That's why I never wear a bra during competitions. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, never thought about it. You're like a total genius. Tell me something I don't know. 
these ladies won me three consecutive state championships. So it's not about the talent anymore. It's more about being a Twitch thought. Jeez. They are really nice. Thanks. Yours are nice too. Yeah, but mine aren't as big as yours. Hmm, maybe not, but I bet you they are perkier than mine. Is that what is that what girls talk about when they're alone, you know, talking about their breast size and how perky it is? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. Oh, come on. Okay, Black Boar's incoming. Boom. All right. Wow, what are you? Calm down. It's just us girls here. <laughs> mm, I, I don't know. Wow, the bitch is actually being a bit bashful in front of a fellow bitch. What? What is this? Here. Boom. Nice. What a show for John, right? See, nothing to be embarrassed about. He, yeah, I guess. Mm. I was right, they are perkier than mine. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, thanks. You've got cute little nipples, too. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> She's shy. I'm not. It's so adorable. Don't you want to feel mine? You want me to... Boink. See? Not so bad. Your skin is so soft. I know, right? It's this special lotion I use. I'll hook you up. Thanks, Jonner. Oh my god, can, just, can you guys just stop this already? Jeez. Damn, girl, you've got a banging body. You think the judges will notice? Oh god, totally. I, I'm losing spit right now, just talking and talking. I can see why that dweeb downstairs wanted to hit that. I can't believe you two live together. You're so awesome, and he's such a dork. I know, right? I tell everybody he's the reason his dad killed himself. Wow, Jesus, Jenny. Yeah, my boyfriend threatens to kick his ass all the time. You have a boyfriend? Well, kinda. Let's just say he thinks he's my boyfriend. I like your style, Roxy. Thanks. Is he packing? What do you mean? You know, down south. Is he <gasps> Is he- <gasps> Oh my god! Is he- Dax? <laughs> he's small. <laughs> Real tiny. Oh my god, it's just what girls also talk about. Dick sizes of your boyfriends, jeez. Come on, girls. Yeah, I don't keep him around for the sex. I wouldn't think so. Ugh. Well, anyways, you're ready to learn some moves? Hell yeah! Cool, let's do it. And then they hit it off. Wow, maybe this wasn't such a bad idea after all. <laughs> okay, that is it, boys. So, you know what? I think that's enough fan service for one episode and hopefully by the next episode we're gonna see a bit more action with our French teacher okay so yeah that's it I I'm pretty tired as well because oh my throat is killing me anyway thank you so much guys for supporting the series and I'll see you guys again next time bye bye